Welcome to Mark D. Maker. My name is Mark Taylor. Welcome. Today we'll be looking at a new product for me. This has been on the market for a while, but it is a portable battery operated micro motor, much like this guy, but completely cordless. So let's unpack it and take a look at it. Come on over to the bench. All right, so here we go. Let's unpack this. Now I have already unpacked it. It does come with this bag. And here's the paperwork. It comes with a cradle, much like my other RAM that I have here that's plugged. Cradle is very similar. Nice. Here is the unit itself. It is packed very nicely and tight. And there it is. Look how small that is. It has a belt clip, but I don't know. I think that would break in a heartbeat. I wouldn't actually use that as a belt clip. It would snap, but it it has this nice cradle and I like the little holster that comes with it. Adjustment screw here so you can adjust it up so if this is on your table it's got rubber feet. This is sitting on your table and you're using it. Um, you can point this upward. Little Phillips screw there and, uh, and you could stick your handpiece right in there. It comes with its charger and what I went ahead and did is always label your chargers so you don't get them confused with anything else you don't lose them it's critical that you have them so you can keep it charged and here's the handpiece my thumb is still in the recovery stage from being dislocated It'll probably be um, about a year, I'm told, before I get the swelling stops and I get um, my range of motion back. I may never have full range again. Um, and it's been difficult to kind of function without a thumb and is one of the reasons why I did go ahead and spring for this is that uh, I could use this without exerting a whole lot of pressure on my thumb, uh, less pressure than actually using a knife. I tend to use a knife a lot, but uh, I may um, switch to doing more rotary tool work until my thumb is fully recovered. So it comes with a pin in it. You want to keep this pin in whenever you um, if you ever take out the chuck that's in here, um, it comes with a, so this is a 1 8 inch chuck, and this is an adapter that slides into that that goes from 1 8 inch to 3 30 seconds. So a 1 8 inch and 332nd bits or yeah bit shanks are what you can use with this machine <clears throat> anything bigger and and you go to a Dremel or a Fordham comes with some tools um, this tool is when you start to take apart more of the insides of it um, and same with this one this is a, a a simple spanner to take the uh, this headpiece off. There's a little hole there that that little spanner goes into when you want to undo it. But you only undo it to um, make repairs. So Let's go ahead and, pl and uh, plug this in. All right, I just got some of the junk out of the way. It's 
got a notch here, so this will only plug in one way. That makes it pretty simple. That looks like that's probably the way that's supposed to sit. That's nice. That's a nice angle to it. This is the holster. But, <clears throat> yeah, once again, this little flimsy plastic belt hook bothers me. I'm, it, it's going to, I know me, <laughs> this will break off. Um, I may go ahead and, and just cut that off and I'll figure something else out. Maybe if I'm going to be portable with this, I will make a carrying case out of leather. Um, and maybe even a hull strat of leather. That would be a cool project. I think I will do that. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on so you can see the readout. Here's the readout. And it's spinning. It's very quiet. Very nice. Here's the charging port. Are. This is probably forward and reverse. Let's see. Yes, you see here. There's your forward and reverse button right on the side. Very nice. I'm looking forward to using it. <clears throat> now I got this directly from RAM. I ordered it off of their, their website. I went ahead to TrueLine as well and bought some bits that I was pretty impressed with. TrueLine has video. TrueLine has a lot of videos uh, of their products. So I went to TrueLine Carbon Supplies and they have these extra fine saber tooth whisper burrs. I got the eye cutter, the sphere, and the flame. They're all one eighth inch shank. Uh, the video that they had on it was very impressive. It removed wood very quickly, but very smooth. So you don't get the, the tear out like you would on the more coarse um, burrs. So I'm anxious to try that as well. So this was $350 range. Um, they are not cheap. Um, and these are $16.50 a piece. So they're not cheap either. I, I ended up actually uh, selling one of my welders. I had a MIG welder. And uh, every time I did some welding, those sparks can, they hit the floor and, and basically scatter. They roll across the floor. And I almost set my garage on fire a couple of times. Uh, and I was like, okay, I, this my space just is not set up for a welder. So I sold the welder to a friend. Uh, and with that money, um, ended up getting these. So this has a uh, quick, quick bit... Um, change feature so a quarter twist here and it loosens up and you can change shanks 
and that's locked in there. That won't come out. So I have a piece of basswood here. Let's just turn this on and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so I, I put too much load on it and it would, would tell me, it would see how it stopped there. My goodness, it that does pretty good though. Let's crank her on up. You can dig in pretty good with that. I'm impressed for such a small thing to be able to handle uh, digging in that hard. And, you know, that's half the uh, depth of that ball. And I really pulled into it. Very nice. I'm impressed. Okay, let's try the the reducing collet. It just slides in. And I'll use one of my ruby bits. Now I use these ruby bits because it not only cuts, but it, it sands. It basically makes a very smooth surface. And I use, usually do uh, finer detail with these. doing what it's supposed to do. It has a cutaway at the bottom, so if your bit's in there, it's not a big deal. It just pokes through there. I wanted to show you the difference between the Sabre Fine and a Ruby. And you can see the little marks from the Sabre Fine, and the Ruby is smooth as a baby's butt. Very smooth. So to pull out the collet, it's really easy. Just a quarter turn, get those fingernails on it, and it and it pulls right out. Um, the directions will tell you. Um, try to always keep either a burr in there or that shank. Probably just helps it hold its position or piece uh, the spring in the metal longer. But uh, I'm very satisfied with that. This is going to uh, improve over the corded versions that I have. Um, this this corded version here I will use out on the porch. <clears throat> Um, rotary tools create dust. It, that's a fact. And so I try to either go to my garage or outside when I'm using these. But this will let me go for a walk. <laughs> go out in the park or the woods or wherever and bring a few choice bits and do some work. So uh, that's going to change the way I work. So hopefully I answered your questions about 
this little portable brushless rotary tool made by Ram. Um, and there's other companies that make them. Fordham makes one. Um, there's multiples. Um, so if you have any more questions, just do a comment below and ask me and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And every once in a while, periodically, I'll give you an update on how this is coming along and how I like it. So please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.